Thanks for staying. I uh, hope you enjoyed the movie. Please welcome back to the stage Adam Wong and Miriam Young. Adam Wong and Miriam Young, everybody. First, I'd like to turn to you about the uh, process of uh, casting uh, the film. Uh, I'm wondering how the choice of uh, Miriam Young came about. Okay. Oh, it was, um, wow, how many years ago? Oh, five years. Five years ago, right. <laughs> um, actually, the original story came out at the end of 2010. Yeah, and after we have the first script, at that time, we, I and the two other producers, um, you know, we had in mind Miriam Young to be the main actress. That was the, I think, some very essential <laughs> and basic uh, uh, element that we regarded as some very basic element that we can um, make the movie success. So yeah, then we tried to contact Miriam Young and have a, we are having, we are talking about the script over beer, right? Something mm. like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And what was your first reaction when you read the script? How did you, did you identify with the I character? It's a, yeah, it's a very touching story. It's talking about a relationship um, for couples. And uh, the most touching part is they, they met when they were young. And then secondary school. And then they, walk along the road till 40 something. So I think it's a new challenge for me, yeah. Uh, in what sense was it a new challenge for you compared um, to? I didn't come across this kind of story before. Most of my movies is about comedies or love, but mm -hmm. fantasy and passions. And I think this time is quite sad <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah, it's quite serious. Yeah, not a kind of comedy. Were you already familiar with uh, The Way We Dance or Adam's earlier films? What? Uh, the Way We Dance, the previous the movie that ah, was quite them. a hit. Yeah. Very energetic and um, have motivations inside. Very positive, yeah. But the first time I met uh, Chinua for this movie, the, the, way we, the Way We Dance still haven't come out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that was yeah. before The Way We Dance. Right. Uh, Miriam, I would like to ask you since uh, mm. tonight's your night, really. Uh, I would like to ask you about your early career when you started. When you started off, um, I'm curious about the early comedies uh, you made with Joma. Yeah. Uh, how uh, how would you describe that era? That was quite different back then. How were oh. those films made? Those those films were also made very quickly, but that's how you became a film Love star. Love undercover. Oh, Love it's very undercover. far away from me now, <laughs> but it's uh, really. Uh, beginning of my um, uh, movie career. Yes, uh, I think it's, it's many, many people think that I'm just doing myself. Mm -hmm. But um, how to say that? I think I'm lucky. Yeah, have a very good start at, at that moment. Yes. But, uh, but then you, you chose a very different uh, kind of uh, direction. You played in uh, Food Chan's uh, <laughs> Because I am learning from each movie, mm -hmm. and and hope that as I would I would tell myself I still have a room f for improvement. So I learn from every single one. Yeah, even that's very bad. <laughs> I okay. still learn about it. Yeah, I still learn from that. Uh, how did you first became uh, become familiar with Mia Yim Young's films? Actually, it's from that uh, Fruit Chan movie, uh, oh, really? Dumb, oh. Dumb Ring. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that was the really, really first time I met you. Yeah, and yeah. I have a, and she gave me a really strong impression at that time because, because I'm at crazy. that time I was I was uh, making of director, so you know making of right. So I, I was uh, videotaping some interview with uh, Miriam Young, mm -hmm. and I found she's really nice, you know, friendly and really very willing to answer questions. <laughs> Actually, not, not every star in Hong Kong can do that, right? Yeah. I think, yeah, I remember, like, I still remember, I asked you, oh, you have to learn how to act as a, like a rich woman, mm. you know, and so did you learn something? So you just perform in front of the camera, how to walk or 
some gesture uh, of those yeah, rich yeah. women. Yeah, that gave me a, you know, lef left me a very strong impression. <laughs> well, she eats dumplings made from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's well, the a strong dumpling impression. Well, the is very crazy, you know. It's a, that's, of course, that's not a real one, but I need to eat over hundreds for each scenes because they have different angles for shooting, so I need to repeat to it and eat and eating and eating and eating. Yeah, I remember it very clearly. So I think you've seen that something is very horrible <laughs> thing to me. <be laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just it's eating like a dumpling, you know. It's very dumb <laughs> afterwards. You still eat dumplings? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to ask you about your encounter with Pong Ho Chung. I think that's a very important moment in your career. Yep. You, you work with uh, Pong Ho Chung, who's uh, also a uh, Miav guest, has come here a few times. Can you describe how it was working with him? and how that changed uh, your career. Yeah. Uh, love in a Puff in another part of my life and my career life is a real difference with uh, love, undercover, love Undercover that uh, at that period. Because uh, Cherry is a more modern woman and more mature and um, the story is more real and more near, near uh, how to say, the more solid love story and uh, yeah, in connecting with the audience directly. Yes, I think it's a different kind of um, uh, movie I didn't work with before, yeah. H how different was it? I think uh, Pong Ho Chung spends a lot of time on the script. I don't know how the drama comedies were made, but how how different was that from your early work in um, terms of uh, small the preparations? Realistic. More realistic. I need to learn the smoking, and I didn't smoke, but I need to learn it. And um, it's talking about a lady fall in love with a man who is younger than her, at least five years, and I think it's very very um, challenging for me. But actually, my husband is younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe not that challenging. I think that's convincing, yeah. <laughs> so, you, yeah. <laughs> so you could derive it from your own experience. Huh? Was it similar to... <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit. So I just, yeah, um, of course not all of that. <laughs> yeah, part of it. Okay. C can we speak about the third film? The third film? Oh, the coming, the, the, the coming the, the one. The upcoming one. Well, maybe it will be a horror film, so <laughs> I, don't <think laughs> I don't know what will be, what's, what, what will going on with that. But uh, still, it's talking about the Cherry and Chi Ming. Yeah, they live together, they are living together, and maybe have many, many different, uh, you know, uh, situational story. Yes. I see. Uh, the, uh, another two films maybe that uh, we could talk about in your career that I th thought uh, you worked with Johnny Toe as well for Do Don't Go Breaking My Heart. Oh, Don't go uh, yeah, Johnny Toe? Right. Yeah. Yep. And also uh, Little Big Master was an important uh, mm. movie for you. Can you describe the process of oh, being Little involved Big with Master that? Little Big Master is very meaningful to me. I think it's, um, it's everyone inside just want to do, uh, how to say that? Uh, scenes here, uh, how to say that in English? Premonition. I yeah, I have. Um, premonition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I better stay in Cantonese, more direct. Um, the five young teacher is one of my own thing. For me, it's a very big change in the film industry. Because every female actor, maybe at some point, will have a lot of pressure. 好多猶豫，唔知道自己點樣去做一個咩角色，再去令到自己有突破。咁當然遇到呢個劇本嘅時候咧，都係一個緣分嚟嘅，亦都唔係特登要揾一套戲希望自己突破。但係喺呢個過程裏邊，我發現咗原來我可以用我自己嘅人生經驗去駕馭一個我從來冇演過嘅角色，而嗰樣嘢又亦都得到個說服力。誒、呃，作為一個校長咧，呢、這個咁 professional 嘅職業咧，其實係我冇試過。但係就係一種使命感，好希望拍到呢套戲，而令到呢一套戲，令到坊間，尤其是喺香港嘅教育制度裏面，係得到一個反思嘅時間。無論係做老師又好，做家長又好，作為一個希望快啲生 B B 嘅準父母都好。
佢會明白佢生一個小朋友出嚟嗰種愛嗰種栽培，唔係當佢寵物咁樣嘅，唔係淨係俾最好嘅嘢佢，而係你點去愛護好佢，同埋同你點樣溝通。咁大家都係希望做到一件事，咁樣所以去拍。<笑>有聽 ？He's working on it. <laughs> A very long stream. <laughs> so, Little Big Master to me is,、um, you know, one of the breakthroughs in my entertainment career. You know,、uh, it's one of the milestones in my entertainment career.、Um, when I initially took on took on the role, I had many doubts on how to, you know, break through my, you know, how to, you know, portray、uh, someone who had who had never been, you know, a, a teacher, but. Um, this is how I wanted to, you know, <clears throat> break through. So when I find this, you know,、um, role, I can use my own real life experience to enhance the character,、um, you know, as a principal, you know, as a new parent or as a you know new person. But、um, this is also my mission to hope to、um, give a voice or share my opinions on the Hong Kong education system. I hope this will help the Hong Kong education and also.、Um, As a parent or a teacher or a family, and I want them to not to treat their kids as you know,、um, not to treat them too hard, not to give pressure onto them,、um, and hopefully that、um, the idea of having kids or having education is not to just give them the best, but to、um, but the need to nurture them and give them a proper education and a proper、um, you know parental environment so that they can have a better life growing up. I think I'm going to turn to the audience now. I bet you have、uh, questions. So if you have a question, please raise your hand and、uh, speak clearly. No, you're too shy. <laughs> Any questions from the audience? I can continue. Go ahead, please. State your question. Thanks for the clarification. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Interactive audience. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to turn back to you again.、Uh, it, in terms of,、uh, you, you've played a lot, you've done a lot of comedies, rom-coms. Now,、uh, there are other genre. Are there other genres that you would like to、um, type of films that you would like,、uh, or, or characters that you would like to play? As as I mentioned before, maybe I do the bad woman. Bad woman. Maybe kill many people <laughs> and put into the jail, <laughs> just like this. <laughs> It's very horrible. Like a serial murderer. <laughs> or <laughs> super villain? Maybe. Maybe. Yes, it's very crazy. <laughs> how do you see the Hong Kong film scene right now? I mean, you you've witnessed a lot of things in the past fifteen,、um, sixteen years now. Well,、uh, how do you say that? You mean you mean in the future or? The no, right now. How do you? What do you think about the contemporary Hong Kong film scene? Uh, the position of Hong Kong cinema right now, yeah,、uh, especially you have a lot of、uh, China co-production and the place、oh. of Hong Kong cinema in that law. Hong Kong film is very important. It's kind of record of our lives, our、mm -hmm. cultural, and also、uh, all the wisdom inside. Yeah.、Uh, on the what? Wisdom. Wisdom of Hong Kong. Yeah,、mm -hmm. I think it's very important. Even though we need to expand our market, so that's why many many coll、uh, collaborations with other countries. Or other other different kind of、uh, investors, but we still、uh, need to protect it.、Mm -hmm. Yes, this very very important library in Hong Kong, just like Canton Pop. 
Yeah. Right. Obviously important <laughs> to you. Yeah. What about you? And oh, there's a lady here. Yes. I agree with that. The competition nowadays is, is, is very serious, but I still insist if I can do my best and I'm the only one who can make it. I still have my place, as I, I still have my, you know, my priorities. So I never give up. Yes. The young gentleman here. No, sorry, no, not no, tonight. No. Sorry, Thirty minutes. Sorry. Maybe outside. <laughs> this whole hell album, right? <laughs> yeah. So because probably Miron, she's she's not gonna remember everything, but just like I'm sure we remember this. How how, how about <laughs> how about thirty seconds? <laughs> so please go ahead and you want to sing? Yeah. Was that is Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, this is a first. Maybe a last. <laughs> Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice voice. Nice I, voice. I think you can. You can. All right, no more. I wrote the voice. The voice. The voice. We can't run it. Yeah. All right. Uh, a question, maybe another song this time. Yeah. The, the young Thank man. Thank you so here. much. Thank you, Xavier. Uh, I'm not Thank, say you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Basically, you're asking uh, how different are the, you know, are the teenage nowadays compared to you know, when I was a teenager, right? Uh, like the age of a teenage in, in the movie. Um, well, I think um, 
we were more lucky when we were young. Yeah, nowadays, well, that's a very serious topic. <coughs> <laughs> really serious topic, yeah. When, when, whenever it comes to this topic, I, I, yeah, I, I think I don't, have, I don't have enough time to go over what I want to say for young people, you know. It's a big issue in Hong Kong. Well, they're not as lucky as we were before. Yeah, they're facing lots of problems. It's not unique. It's not a unique problem in Hong Kong, but you know, all over all over the world. You know, one of the very good example that demonstrates this is the result of the you know um, the, the 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 British thing. You know, you, you can you, I don't know how much you read about the information about the intention of the young people, what they vote for, but you know, the final result is not what they want. You know, so. This generation conflict, I think, is a global problem, yeah. particularly in Hong Kong, because you know, of the very unique political situation of Hong Kong. No one has a solution, yeah. but I think um, you know, when you get confused what to do, um, I, think, I hope more people can consider young people consider the next generation and can really you know, consider how to solve the problem from the side of young people, from the side of the young generation. Yeah. I think we can do uh, more, one more question before wrap up. Yes, the young lady. Uh, what was your childhood dream that you wish you did? For both. For both of you. Part of it, my dream is being become a doctor. But finally, I become a nurse. <laughs> but still, I can work in the hospital. Yes. I think, I think it's okay. <laughs> I really want to work in the hospital, actually. <laughs> Very um, special place. You can learn a lot from that. Uh, yes. Actually, I didn't consider, I'm, I'm not a person who wants to talk about dream that much, you know, quite, you know, maybe you won't believe it, but I, I don't think I talk about dream to my student. You know, I was teaching, I, I have been teaching for so long in the uni, but I've never talked about, okay, go search for a dream. I'm not conscious to dream, actually, yeah, until I make the way we dance. Um, Maybe because I'm living in my dream. <laughs> that is why I don't know what dream is. But you're living your dream. You've always, you said you've always wanted to be a filmmaker. That was a dream of you. I didn't you consider it a no? dream. And no. nowadays, I think directing is a very practical thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I dream of uh, if you, I, maybe I want to fry. You know, if you, you, if you really have to consider dream. Yeah, filmmaking is not my dream. Filmmaking is my job, and it's something very practical that I love to do every day. All right. With these, I think we're going to conclude tonight's soirée. And uh, yes, please give them one last round of applause. Thank you so much. They've come all the way from Hong Kong here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.